guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to my first video for FIFA 15. It is going to be the demo review sides. I don't know what I'm going to call it, probably the demo reviews. I'm going to be reviewing each team uh, in the demo, starting off with Barcelona. We are going to be playing on world class in every matchup, always against Chelsea. And then when it gets time to play as Chelsea, we're going to be versing Manchester City because they are fairly even. Uh, so we're going to have a good perspective, a good comparison of what the teams are like. But this demo, guys, my thoughts so far, it is absolutely sick. I am loving playing with it so far. When I first started playing, I played that um, game with Manchester City and Liverpool, and I was not a fan of it at all. I thought it was very sluggish, but then I scored an absolute screamer with Ricky Lambert. He's going to be OP as fuck, guys, if that game was anything to judge by. I scored a hat-trick with him, but... um. I'm pretty impressed with it. The cinematics are freaking crazy. I could not believe how good it looks. And the new BPL layout just looks sick. Uh, we're going to go here and do the review. So I'm going to show you guys a few clips to begin with. And then we're going to be focusing on the goalkeeper, the defender, the midfield, and attack. Out of 10, I'll give them a rating. Then I'll talk about the strengths, the weaknesses of the side, and then the key players for the team. So as you can see here in the 12th minute, Neymar is going to take a strike, but it is a good save there from Petr Cech. Uh, and off the corner, it is going to be Neymar whipping it in to the box. He's going to whip it into to PK. PK gets his header to it and gives us a 1-0 advantage. It was a nice goal, and it's a nice celebration. Those cinematics, I can still not get over them. Oh, guys, it's like Christmas today. It's so good. Um, but then in the 30th minute, Fabregas here is playing a nice ball to William, the Brazilian. He is going to cut in, crossing it into Oscar, who gets ahead to it. It's a nice save there from Tostegan, but unfortunately, our defense is nowhere to be seen, and it is now a one-all game. Not very impressed with the defense of Mascherano and PK, but there are a few players I have been impressed with, but we'll get on to that soon as Neymar gets the save there, but Suarez is able to follow up and get his first goal in Barcelona colors on FIFA for me. Looks absolutely sick, but then in the 75th minute, Eden Hazard's going to take a strike, belts it off the post, and my idiot, me, my idiocy, I don't even know what that is, I meant to call myself an idiot, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, it goes out for a corner here, I put it out for a corner as William. He is going to line this one up, ripping it into uh, Gary Cahill, and the English centre back gets past some absolutely piss poor defence, making it a 2 all scoreline, 77 minutes into the matchup. I was not pleased with how I defended there. Not happy with Tostegan, not happy with Mascherano, not happy with PK. And then in stoppage time, Hazard absolutely wrecks my defense as he crosses it in there. And freaking Drogba hits it off the crossbar. Sorry, William hits it off the crossbar. And Drogba gives Chelsea the 3-2 victory. I was not pleased at all with that, but thank God it's only a friendly. Imagine if this was career mode, how mad I would be. Uh, by the way, speaking about my career mode, I've basically decided who I'm going to be. But we did go down three goals to two against Chelsea. Not pleased with that at all. We are going to move on now and talk about the individual positions. So the goalkeeper, Mark De Stegen. Uh, I was actually very impressed with him. I reckon he's going to be a player to watch this year. He might be a bit of a cheap beast. He's only 82 overall on FIFA. So I think he will be a rare card and he'll be sitting around... Uh, 650, 700 coins. Uh, so definitely a player that I would recommend. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He was very decent in this game. Uh, unfortunately, the defense let him down. The defense I was playing was... I was playing a 4-1-2 formation if you look back at the start of the video. My defense was Jordi Alba, Mascherano, PK, and Danny Alves. I thought the wingbacks were decent. Uh, our, our, our Jordi Alba... And Danny Alves. I keep getting my tongue tied. So many weird names. Uh, but then the centre back pairing of Mascherano and PK did not work out for me. They were absolutely piss poor. Um, the wing backs actually saved the centre backs a lot. Uh, so I'd have to give the defence a 5 out of 10. Not good at all. The midfield of Iniesta and Xavi, that was my midfield, and I suppose you could say Neymar. Uh, it was actually very decent. I was very impressed. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And then the attack, freaking Messi and Suarez and sort of Neymar. Absolutely insane. We did give them a 9 out of 10, so I was very pleased with the attack. So we're going to talk about the strengths and the weaknesses now. So moving on, the strengths for Barcelona on the FIFA 15 demo is... As I just mentioned, they had an absolutely amazing forward line. 
Uh, Suarez, Messi, and Neymar were really fun to use. Even though I didn't score any crazy goals, they were just really good in the game and made plenty of opportunities. Another one is going to be to Stegen. He is going to be OP, as I mentioned before, making saves here, there, and everywhere. Unfortunately, the defense let him down, but uh, he did do very well. And then the third and final strength is going to be Barcelona. were very great on the ball. Iniesta and Xavi were really impressive. They had really great... Uh, ball skills as they do in real life and they played some absolutely brilliant balls. The weaknesses for Barcelona are going to be that PK and Mascherano are absolutely shite. They were so bad, I'm never going to be using them in this FIFA game. PK was okay, but Mascherano, oh god, that was terrible. I'll just discard him if I got him in a pack first day. Uh, and yeah, that's really the only weakness I can talk about with Barcelona is they were a shit de defense overall. So, I have listed down four key players for the Barcelona team in the FIFA 15 demo, and they're going to be Iniesta, he really impressed me, Tostegan, Neymar, and Suarez. Of course, you knew I was going to say Suarez and Neymar. I've been raving on about them all game, or all episode, I should say. Uh, same with Tostegan, but Iniesta was surprisingly good. So, if I had to give Barcelona a rating out of 10, I would give them a 7 out of 10. Not too great, but not bad at all. They were decent on the demo. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what club you would like me to do in the next episode. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at JaredHD if you already aren't. Subscribe if you are new around here for FIFA 15 content daily. So happy that FIFA 15 is here, lads. The demo, at least. I'm so keen for the full game. But, guys, it has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace. If Pyros and Crips all got along, they, they probably got me down by the end of the song. Seem like the whole city goes. You know, you me. know this is a little different, right? Jack, <laughs> Jack. Ja. What a combo safe. Safe full of bread and a combo safe. Got enough dough, got enough bread. That shit look.